Obviously, conflict between the brothers, problems with Michael, mm -hmm. highlight, low light. It's definitely a highlight for the prosecution because their case isn't that strong evidentiary, but now they have a motive. There's a fight going on between the two brothers for the affections of, the, of this young woman, and it brings her spirit into the courtroom. She's a young girl. She's talking about dating and going to shows. It makes her alive yeah. to jurors, and, and that is such a critical element of this case. It's a big, big highlight for the prosecution. Eugene? I, I, I agree that it's a highlight for the prosecution, but I also think you can sometimes make more of these things. You know, if a jury tries to, and I think, I'm sure, they're going to dispassionately review this evidence, it's helpful to the prosecution, but I don't think it's something that's going to be strongly helpful. Yeah. Probably, I, I, probably, dis I disagree with that, because juries, juries want to do the right thing. Okay, I'll tell you what, we, we're almost out of time. Marge, I'm going to throw you two quick ones. I understand Dorothy Moxley came out and had something to say today. What was that? Yes, she came out just before the testimony began. She made a very heartfelt plea. In fact, at one point she was choking back tears. She basically came out and she said, I know I listened to these two boys, two men, as she called them boys, testify yesterday, former classmates uh, at the Elon School of Michael Skakels. She said it was very difficult for their, them to come out here and to admit, you know, that they yeah. had had problems in their past. And she said, please, I know they testified about 90 people being in this house. She, she made an appeal to anybody that was at the Elon ah. School to please come forward and to, yeah. as she said, ease your conscience if you heard anything. <clears throat> and she said, I believe in my heart that Michael Skakel did it. Okay. She said he's the only one that they came after uh, that the Skakel family tried to protect. So she said, please help me, right. you know, to find justice for my daughter. An emotional very moment, moving. I'm sure. Marge mm -hmm. Stevens, uh, mm -hmm. Eugene Richie. Thank you very much. Chris Fusco is going to stay here with us for our last segment as we await a verdict in the case where Mary Kay Letourneau's teen lover is suing the city of Seattle. But up next, big news in the Danielle Van Dam murder case. Jury selection is underway in the David Westerfield trial. You know we're going to get cameras in there. Don't go away. We'll give you an update.